Guys, we talked about the June Pixel feature drop just a couple of days ago. In that video, the update had not yet reached my Pixel, and in fact, uh, it still hasn't. So what I did is I sideloaded it. I have it installed now, and I'm going to show you some of my favorite new features firsthand from the June Pixel feature drop. The first one is honestly really cool. It's the cinematic wallpaper. I'm going to show you how to do this. I think a lot of people have been confused as to how to actually set one of these wallpapers. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly first. So first, this is the cinematic wallpaper, and it's going to be kind of hard to see this through the camera. Maybe you can. It's kind of this parallax effect where my dog is staying mostly still kind of, and the background is moving in a way that is like different uh, separate to the foreground picture. And of course, if you unlock, that is the background as well. And you probably saw some motion there as it unlocked. It's it's pretty interesting, right? Like that's a pretty cool feature. So here's what you do. You long press on the home screen, you go to wallpaper and style. You then go to change wallpaper and then you pick a photo. So we'll just use the same one that I've already used. And you'll see up here at the top, a little option, a little star option. You click on that and it says cinematic wallpaper toggle that it takes a second to do what it's going to do and then you're done hit your hit set wallpaper and you're off and running there is no separate option like i think some people were expecting to see you know maybe something in here that said cinematic wallpaper that's not how this works you have to do it the way that i just showed you and whenever you're done I think it works pretty well. It's a pretty cool feature. There are some weird little things going on, some weird glitches like her ear. You can see there's like a hole in it there when you turn too far to one side and it slides out of it too far. But overall, pretty nifty feature. So another cool one is in the camera app. If you don't see this immediately, go to the Play Store and make sure your camera app is fully updated. Go to video and hit your little pull down there and you should see macro focus. And what this is going to do is pretty simple. When you get very close to something while filming in video, it's gonna to switch to that macro focus mode and allow you to film things up very, very close. And honestly, the video quality for doing this is pretty solid. It's going to allow me to do some pretty cool things. I love macro photography. So macro video in actual like good quality is a pretty cool feature to have. We also do have the palm timer, which is accessible by switching to your selfie camera and turning on a three or 10 second timer. And then you're sort of waving your hand, show your palm to the screen and it will actually turn that timer on. Another cool one is accessible via your lock screen. You can see the little home icon down here, tap that and you have access to your Google home stuff. Obviously I need to go in and edit these controls and organize things a bit because it's a little bit ridiculous, a little bit unwieldy, there's just too many. But if you do use this kind of stuff, you can very, very quickly get into those controls directly from your lock screen, turn some lights off or on, change your thermostat, whatever it might be, very, very convenient. And of course, there are a bunch of new features in the personal safety app. You're gonna wanna make sure you go in this and set somebody up as your emergency contact. There's also all kinds of features to go in there and turn on like car crash detection and things like that. Very, very potentially useful features, even though you hope that you never actually have to use them. Now guys, there are more features than just that. These are just the ones I wanted to highlight for you. If you wanna get the full rundown, that video is in the playlist you're currently watching this video in. Guys, subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy. Later.